Hi, and welcome back to The Thriftier Person. We're going to talk a few myths about tech that drive the price of tech up because people believe it to be true, so therefore they'll pay the higher price. Uh, well, you know, it's convenient marketing strategy, and, well, if you tend to believe the hype, you'll tend to pay the price. And, well, you end up paying the price in two ways. One, the cash register, and two, when you realize that you really didn't need what you bought, but now you can't return it, and, well... There you go. And then you wonder why you have no money in your savings account because you have it sitting in front of you or hanging on your wall or mounted on some kind of a stand and, and now you have the pain and regret because now something goes wrong with something in your house or one of your animals and you don't have the money to pay for it because you're staring at something you could have bought for $400 less had you just done a little research and not believed everything your friends or an article told you because, well, they get paid by advertisers to advertise this to be what you need. Well, what you need is what you know you need. What you want is what they're selling you. That's the horse of a different color. Moving on. We're going to do several different segments covering several different things. They probably should be, they most likely would be pretty short because, well, it's quite easy to break a myth. Number one, uh, HDMI cables. HDMI cables are usually used with, you know, if you have surround sound uh, stereo system and say a 50, 60, 70 inch television, why you need a screen bigger than you are is beyond my comprehension. But then again, if that's what you want, hey, have at it. It's not my money. It's yours. It's not my retirement income. It's yours. It's not my college education fund. It's yours. But then again, I think I've made my point clear. So anyways, going to HDMI cables. If you happen to go and look for, a, say, a six-foot HDMI cable, you're going to find it to be $60. What makes a $60 HDMI cable different than the $10 HDMI cable? They're both made from copper. They most likely both have gold uh, gold ends on the ends of them, and that's, you know, to make a better connection. Uh, they're both made to have a plastic wrapping around them. Uh, they both do exactly the same thing. So what makes one different from the other? Hmm. You can go to monoprice.com, M-O-N-O-P-R-I-C-E.com, and you can get a wonderful HDMI cable with an extremely high rating for approximately $10 for a six-foot cable. They work wonderfully. I've heard several people uh, give excellent raves and reviews on many cables from Monoprice, which you can get at substantially 75 to 80% uh, off what you find at retail stores. Well, why are you getting them for $60? Because you're paying for the name. The cables are all made the same, probably in some cases made in the same exact factory. But because they're sold under different names, they command a higher price. So, believe me, the cable does exactly the same thing. It's the name on the front you're paying for. So if you want to pay $60 for a cable when you can spend 10 and get exactly the same effect, well, as I said, that's your child's college fund, not mine. So... When you go to buy an HDMI cable, do your research. Do you really need to spend $60 when you can spend 10 Because if you go on, say, Amazon.com and you look at uh, one particular manufacturer's HDMI cable, it only has three stars and 300 and some odd ratings. You go on to, I think it's uh, another uh, reviewer's site, and there's a $10 HDMI cable, six exactly the same six foot from a whole different manufacturer, has over 3,000 ratings, and it's four and a half stars. Funny, isn't it? The more expensive one has less ratings and has lower has a lower quality of stars than the cheaper one that has much, much higher ratings and uh, many more reviews. So I guess it's up to you. You tell me. Whenever you're buying anything, make sure you're well aware of the return policy. Do they have a restocking fee? Do you have to pay for return shipping? These are the things you want to know, especially if you're going to spend a $60 cable out of your child's college fund. I can't repeat myself enough. If you're going to spend a large amounts of money on things, remember, you're taking away from something to buy something that you may not need or could get for a cheaper price. And that's what you need to know.